We've come here to Quebec City to ride North America's first and only, so far, hydrogen-powered train. So you might be wondering, why are we starting a train video here at the Chute Montmorency? That's because since trains began, they've been running under the power of water. Steam trains use water. Electric trains use hydroelectric dams converted into electricity. But the main reason is because our train station is right down there. Not only is water the byproduct of this train, but all of this water could be the fuel for the train too. Now this is the first hydrogen train in North America because it's a bit of a test train almost. In conjunction with Alstom that makes the train, the private company that runs the train, the province of Quebec, a number of energy companies that are trying to see if hydrogen is a possible fuel for heavy transportation, aka a train like this. And so the diesel version of this train used about 500 liters of diesel daily, whereas now it's only operating on about 50 kilograms of hydrogen. Of course, as we know, when you burn diesel, it creates carbon dioxide, which goes into the air, and that's bad for the atmosphere and all of us. Whereas the hydrogen technology takes the hydrogen and converts it into pure, clean water. And that's something we could all use a lot more of. And so the question is, can the technology work in real life? And that's what this train is trying to find out. I'm Mike, welcome to Downey Live, and welcome aboard the Train de Charlevoix. And we're off, leaving past the waterfall and about to travel along the St. Lawrence River, knowing that by riding this train, we're only creating more clean water. I like how the seats have the diagram of a water molecule on it. Now, the train is just as quiet and smooth on board as it was from the outside. And that's all because it's electric. Okay, I don't want to confuse you. It is powered by electricity, but fueled by hydrogen. Let's take a quick look at the roof. Each car is fitted with a roof-mounted hydrogen tank, which can hold about 94 kilograms worth of the gas. Then there is the fuel cell, used to convert hydrogen into energy, which then gets stored as electricity in the battery. And that electricity is what powers this train. So we are on an electric train powered by hydrogen, rolling through the Quebec countryside on our way to some town called Bay St. Paul. Apparently it's nice because this is purely a tourist train, no commuters here. And as we get further outside Quebec City, I'm starting to understand why. So now we're coming up to the St. Lawrence River. We'll roll along these tracks wedged between the cliff to the left and the river to the right for about the next two hours. I'm not sure if you can hear that. I think that sound is the electrolysis converting the hydrogen into energy, into the batteries, and I, I guess getting rid of the water under the train somehow. This is great. We are right on the water, and it looks like a tunnel is coming up. There are even a couple of tunnels. They're a big hit with the kids, and uh, us grown-up kids too, I guess. Cool. Tunnels will never get old. Now, I could just show you more and more of this river scenery, but I want to save some if you decide to come ride this train. So for now, let's go see a little bit more of this train that we've come to see. The size of these windows are just huge. Let's do a bathroom tour, shall we? There's a lineup of people, so we have to remember to lock it so no one comes in. Pretty big, very big, very spacious. Not much more to tell you. It's great. Oh, wow, this does not get old. <laughs> now, I know some of you are going to ask about how they get the hydrogen for this train. So, the hydrogen comes from a company in Quebec that takes water and separates the molecules into oxygen and hydrogen. But that process takes energy. So to do that, they use electricity created by a hydroelectric dam, meaning it takes the energy from water to split water into hydrogen and oxygen, which eventually gets brought back together to create electricity for this train by combining the molecules back into water. <gasps> Woo! Now, I really want to thank the sponsor of today's video, because I think they're a perfect pairing with today's topic, True Earth. Now, I know what you're thinking, Mike, how are laundry eco strips fitting with a train? Well, the train is trying to reduce its carbon footprint, and that's exactly what these True Earth laundry eco strips do. You see, if you were to get a standard jug of liquid laundry detergent, transporting that is heavy, which increases its carbon footprint. 
This is small. In fact, it has the same number of loads, 32 loads in a single envelope, but you can ship so many more of these in the same space as that liquid detergent. So the carbon footprint of this is very small. In fact, this envelope is recyclable. There are more advantages to this than you think. The best part is that in becoming eco-friendly, it doesn't give up anything. It still has equal cleaning power. One strip for a normal load, two strips for a big load. And they work in all machines, front loading, top loading, cold water, hot water. You've heard me talk about them a ton before. And if you haven't already, I urge you, try the link in the description down below. They've even given you a discount code. Use discount code DOWNY. You get 10% off to try it. I promise you won't go back. Order True Earth now. It will get shipped to your house and then try the True Earth Laundry Eco Strips. Thank you, True Earth. Now back to the video. Overall, the train is great. Modern, quiet, comfortable, and impressively huge windows, which makes looking out at this pretty great view all the easier. But yes, you're right. The train is pretty similar to any other modern train, but most people don't come here to ride a hydrogen train. They come to ride this train along the St. Lawrence River and visit Bay St. Paul. And we have just turned the corner into Bay St. Paul. You can see the town in the distance and I think that's us arriving. I guess this is us. On the return trip, we are taking the diesel train. So we'll get to see, see both. But I gotta say, pretty good experience for a hydrogen train. So from an experience perspective, the train isn't all that special, but the technology within is pretty neat. And when the location is as green as this, it makes sense that the technology being used is also just as green. So now that we're in Bay St. Paul, I guess we gotta figure out what we do for a couple hours before we head back. Let's see what makes it such a hot tourist destination. And right next to the train station are these friendly neighbors. First thing you had to do, come say hi to the Highland cows. Hi. We'll just leave you to enjoy the countryside. We've got more to see. I personally love these kind of trips. I booked the train purely to take the train. I have done zero research on what is in Bay St. Paul. So we just get to wander for two and a half hours. Then we gotta go back to board to return. But uh, look at this. Out to this quaint countryside Quebecois town. Say that three times really fast. The town has a population of about 7,000 people, but the trains bring in another few hundred every day throughout the tourist season. It's known for its art galleries, shops, and restaurants, most notably along this incredibly quaint main street. A microbrewery seems to be the place to be. And as you guessed, I'm hungry. I got a spot on a patio, ordered a cook monsieur for lunch, and obviously got a local beer from the microbrewery down the block. Not a bad destination for a little train trip. And we can't forget dessert. I had to. Mmm. All right, back to the train now. And I want to let you know that the live hats that I wear are a mental health initiative. They're made by a company called Worth Hats. I've done this before. We design a hat, they make them, and proceeds from the hats goes into a counseling fund to support those who otherwise wouldn't be able to afford it. I don't make any money from the hat sales. It all goes into the counseling fund. Uh, they're linked in the description down below if you like them. There's three styles. This is one of them. Go check them out. Great hats, designed by me, so I'm a little biased, but uh, maybe you like them. But it's time to catch our diesel train back and listen to how much louder it is. I already wish I had more time in Bay St. Paul. That was lovely. Well, as I always say, I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me. So subscribe down below and I'll see you next week.